Welcome to all. In this video, we will see standards for potato tissue cultureized mini tuber certification from NCSTC. National certification system for tissue cultureized plants, now popularly known as NCSTCP, recognize tissue culture production facilities and certify the tissue cultureized propagules in India. This is highly helpful for farmers to use high quality propagules for their agriculture purpose. The NCS TCP released guidelines for micro propagation of 8 major crops namely potato, apple, banana, bamboo, sugarcane, citrus, vanilla and black pepper. In addition, the protocols and regulations for 15 crops namely anthurium, tea, strawberry, lilium, cardamom, mangium, gerbera, jetroba, carnation, grapes, turmeric, ginger, orchids, and dead palm will be released soon. In this video, we will see the tissue culture regulations for the mic micro propagation or mass production of potato tissue culture rice mini tubers. And the standards are categorized into four groups. First one is the application and amplification of general seed standards for the potato tubers, and greenhouse or controlled environment requirements and inspection of greenhouse controlled environment facilities and fourth part is field standards. So first we will see the application and amplification of general seed standards. So the standards is applicable to tissue culture raised mini tubers and laboratory greenhouse conditions. The amplified general seed standards are free of potato pests and vectors for potato pathogens and always maintain hygienic conditions free from pest pathogens as well as debris and dust. All micro propagation and greenhouse facilities with a two door changing area between the double doors of greenhouse facilities and it should follow the standards of construction of greenhouse facilities and the ventilation in the greenhouse should be insect proof so that air in and air out pass through a insect proof ventilator screens and lab coat should be present in the changing area between two door entries and the mother plants should be virus indexed and tested free from several viruses attacking potato such as potato virus A, PVA, PVS, PVM, Partivirus Y, Partivirus X PLR virus, PALC virus and PST virus and the facility should use recognized aseptic initiation and propagation procedures and initial establishment facility must maintain the records of varietal identification, source of origin, date of initial establishment procedure, origin and testing results from accredited test laboratories and they have to select at least minimum 10 random se selected plants or 0.1% of the total population of the batch for virus indexing as well as for genetic uniformity. The valid pathogen testing results are required prior to the initiation of the transfer of in vitro plantlets to the greenhouse. Approved source of in vitro plants or microtubers should be used following the prescribed procedure. And it can be used for breeder seed and further it is gone for certified seed production by following the seed certification regulatory agencies. And the triticulture production facility laboratory should is issue a certificate to the um, PTCMT has been produced with the standards as prescribed by the NCS TCP under proper supervision. Next, the greenhouse are controlled environment requirements. The micro propagation and greenhouse, greenhouse facilities must meet the standards we discussed in previous slides. And the facilities used for PTCMT production should not be infested with pathogens and pests. More particularly, the potato wart, syncytrium, endobioticum, and cyst farming nematodes should not be present and it should be free from brown rot, pseudomonas solanaceum or non cyst forming nematodes with the following previous three years and common scab should not be identified in the greenhouse conditions. 
the common scab organism streptomyces scabby should not be present and inspection of greenhouse or controlled environmental facilities by the production of PTCMT. The grower must notify the competent authority well advanced for the planning purpose. The crop must be grown from approved basic source in vitro plants or microtubers which were produced in an aseptic environment. In general three inspections will be made. The first inspection will be carried out by NTS NCS TCP body at 35 days after planting in case of plains or 45 days after planting in case of hills respectively. Growth condition, pest and disease infestation, half type and isolation of maintenance of isolation distances between different genotypes of plants are inspected at this stage. And second inspection will be carried out at 60 to 65 days after planting, half types pathogen disease infestations are monitored and random plant samples up to 1% of the population for each genotype will be collected for testing purpose and third inspection shall be maintained immediately after the columns cutting or destruction in order to verify that columns have been cut or destroyed by the prescribed date and proper manner. And throughout the uh, period, sanitation practices should be followed, insect and disease are carefully monitored and we should not allow any insect or diseases. And basic stock can be planted in commercially available medium. The nursery bed separate substrate should be properly sterilized before planting. The greenhouse must be free from all potato and solanaceous plant debris and have to maintain a basic stock. The varieties must be separated to prevent the mixtures. If accredited test laboratories find virus or pathogens from the test sample, the entire material will be destroyed without any using. The insect vectors such as aphids, thrips, white flies are uh, detected in the yellow sticky traps, two or th three present inside the greenhouse. If it is present then post harvest test results should be provided and it should be negative for any kind of viruses. And field standards. First one is greenhouse. In general requirements one, one meter isolation distance between the different varieties of potato and the greenhouse facility must meet and half type should be less than 0.05 percent. Plants showing symptoms of mild mosaic should be less than 0.5 percent. Severe mosaic leaf roll and yellow apical leaf curl should be less than 0.05% and plants should not be infected by brown rot or bacterial wilt. Even single plant identified for infection of these pathogens, it will be discarded. The seed standards inside the greenhouse are as follows. The average weight of mini tuber is more than 1 gram and germination sprouting rate is more than 90% and varietal purity will be more than 99% and virus infected plants should be less than 0.01% is the minimum standard. And field standards for the foundation crops and certif certified crops in the field. The requirements prescribed for the conventional method is applicable here itself and the production of imported variety or non-notified varieties can be taken up by the industry exclusively for export purposes should be introduced following the approved guidelines of government of India. Once the NCS TCP identified all the uh, test conditions are passed, they are issuing the recognition and certification of tissue propagules. For that purpose, they issue the label. The label consisting of 12 and 6 cm size with diagonally yellow and opal green label. The seal and generally the propagules transported through the sealed container and the container carrying the label should have printed information of crop variety, name of the institution produced by the propagules etc. Thank you.